Uh, and then in 21 minutes, we will have an open hatch. <laughs> and you can see the main recovery vessel in the top right there. That's the helipad with uh, the big SpaceX X on top. It's now backing up towards the capsule. Certainly not to be confused with one of our uh, landing drone ships. <laughs> There's a live view of Dragon uh, of Dragon floating in the water there in the background, along with many onlookers, <laughs> certainly from a safer distance at this point. Uh, this is a live shot coming from Go Navigator, our rec primary recovery vessel here. So it's dra Crew Dragon is also accompanied by the fast boats that are helping to bring it in closer. Um, and there you can see a couple of the recovery team members on the deck. Uh, and also just behind them, we get our first good view of the nest. Uh, yes, so this is uh, essentially the nest in the background there. Dragon will be hoisted using the hydraulic lift out of the water and into that nest. That nest will then be pulled towards the camera from this view, towards those individuals on that upper deck there. Uh, and that's where the... Dragon SpaceX comm check. Loud and clear, solo, how us? Loud and clear as well, and from the uh, video, it looks like the boat is about one uh, length away, about five to 10 meters, backing up to you. Copy that, uh, thanks for the update. All right, so good news there. We're getting ready to see Dragon to be lifted out of the water and into the recovery nest. As I was saying, that nest will be pulled towards the camera, uh, towards that upper deck that we saw there, and that's where the medical stretchers will be waiting uh, to assist them into the medical bays for uh, evaluation after capsule egress. It's already been it's already been 25 minutes since they splashed down. It doesn't feel like it. That uh, was definitely the fastest 25 yeah. minutes of the day. <laughs> the, the timeline we were anticipating was for the lifting operations to start within about 30 minutes, so we're pretty much right on the timeline still. That's been a a pretty common thing so far today. Uh, you can see them uh, with one of the fast boats getting it positioned to start uh, moving out with the additional rigging uh, to affix to the Dragon capsule where they're gonna use this A-frame to pull it up out of the water. And you can see the Dragon nest at the very bottom. It's uh, that circular object uh, with the A-1 right on it. So while this is the first time we are recovering a capsule with crew members on board, the recovery team has been... And Dragon, just letting you know, we got a couple lines connected and uh, rigging is in progress. Copy that, SpaceX, thank you. All right there, so just updating the crew that they might feel some uh, momentum as the lines, as a couple of the rigging lines are attached. Uh, there we can actually, there's our first good shot of the individual who is uh, placing that rigging equipment. Equipment Again, that's someone that's highly specialized and very well trained for these operations. Uh, as I was saying, the recovery team has rehearsed and practiced this with Bob and Doug themselves, actually, uh, in a test capsule, practicing the, the egress as well as um, they have recovered, or excuse me, they have practiced the recovery process many times uh, and actually through those practice runs, uh, they have effectively cut the recovery period in half from the initial Demo 1 mission. So uh, it's really nice to see that uh, the, the process itself, after being rehearsed and carefully choreographed, uh, is, is going super efficiently. Again, uh, safety is the number one priority, so making sure that only uh, personnel involved in active recovery operations are present on the deck. Uh, you may have heard us mention before that there are about 40 people on board today, but we certainly don't want uh, anyone in danger or, or to fall overboard. <laughs> that guy intentionally jumped. <laughs> Speaking of falling overboard. <laughs> We're ready, thank you. All right, so the crew was just told in about 30, in the next 30 seconds, they have the lines affixed, so they're going to start lifting the capsule up out of the water. And at this point, the communication we're getting with Dragon is actually being routed through the boat itself at this point. So there we can see the lift. 
Dragon is out of the water. Yeah, so and then now, now that A frame is going to start swinging it back. And it's bound right for that nest at the bottom of your screen. So there we're getting a better shot of all the points in which Dragon is tethered to the hydraulic lift, ensuring that it isn't swinging freely. And there we can see Dragon Endeavor being carefully set down into the recovery nest on top of Go Navigator. Dragon uh, SpaceX, welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing final checks and preparing to translate you to the egress platform. Be happy, thank you. So for the first time in two months, NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley are on some sort of ground. I guess we can't call it solid ground because it is a ship. However, uh, it is the first time that they are not in space, uh, on a rocket, or bobbing in the ocean. Yeah, so now that they're in the nest, we're, they're going to start translating it forward. And Dragon's going to move into essentially the hangar section underneath that helipad and then up to that recovery platform that we saw a little bit earlier. At that point, uh, the spacecraft technicians will work to open up the hatch. As we said previously, it's a manual process uh, with a couple of different uh, attachments you have to engage before the hatch itself can be open. They'll get it opened. And then uh, SpaceX's Anil Menon will be the first one through the hatchway to check in on Bob and Doug, get their initial health assessment, see if they're ready to move, and then we'll start assisting them out of the capsule and into that medical facility on the boat. So at this point, the recovery team is doing uh, final securing of the capsule in preparation to actually move the recovery nest uh, into closer to the interior of the ship. It'll actually be uh, in a little bit of a covered deck there. We, had a, we saw that camera view earlier uh, looking straight out from the center of the boat. So once Dragon is secured in the nest, uh, the nest will be translated then forward and uh, closer to the recovery, uh, the, the, excuse me, closer to the position in which we're able to actually open the hatch. So while Dragon is on board safely, uh, we're not able to do that just yet. Yeah, they're, de they're working to detach some of those lines that were used to hoist it using the A-frame. And uh, we heard that they should be done with that in just a moment, and then we'll start that translation. So right now we can see the recovery team uh, releasing those securing lines that were used during the lift of the capsule from the water uh, into the nest. So they are releasing those securing lines from the sides, making sure it is secure from the bottom. And there we see Dragon moving forward. Look at that. Smooth as a Tesla, I would say. <laughs> it's really interesting to see those scorching marks uh, now that we get a really nice up close detail shot of Dragon. Standing by for the go for side hatch open. That rounded square there in the center of the capsule is that side hatch. And on either side are those oval windows. 
Dragon SpaceX, stand by for side hatch opening and egress. Happy, we're ready. All right, crew got the 